This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, Bolchi, Bree, Zael and Jenny. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Alright babe, I'm home. I don't know, that was like a weird voice crack going on right there. I don't know why that was uh, the case, but yeah, <laughs> crazy. I am here and I am ready for everything. You betcha, I am ready. I have procured our snacks for the night and I made sure to hit every single basis possible. I got the sweet, I got the salty, I got the bitter, I got some tangy, uh, and I got some more salty and sweet because I know that those are your favorites. I am so, so excited. I don't know. When is the last time we've had a night to just like hang out together and sit together and do whatever we want, watch movies, play games? I I don't know. We've, we've been so busy over the past month-ish. It's, it's just, it's like a dream come true to actually be in a place where we can sit back and relax and breathe together. It's awesome. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I am glad you are excited too. Now, um, did the pizza come yet or are we still waiting? The pizza. The pizza, remember? Because, you know, I went and I got the snacks on my way back from work and you said you would uh, get the order of the pizza when I uh, texted you and then I texted you and I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm leaving the place. And did you don't remember this conversation? I guess you didn't respond to it, but... Okay, so you you did you did see it then. So um is the pizza here or is it coming? Or Okay. Um All right, you haven't ordered yet, which is fine i guess we can order now but i would like to know because it seems like you have uh, a recollection of the conversation in which we discussed the fact that you were going to be ordering our food for the night and i was going to go pick up the everything else well i mean are you, are you were going to order main food for the night i was going to pick up the rest of the food on the way back um do you mind me asking why you didn't do that? Um, okay. That is, I don't know. This is, I, I, we never, never experienced this before, really. Uh, like complete and utter confusion. You're just... I don't know. You're not usually the type of person to say, I didn't feel like it, you know, because that is kind of 
inherently like rude and you're not a rude person. So I'm just trying to wrap my brain around what the situation is here. Um, uh, okay. I did listen. Did I, did I do something wrong? Because like, I swear I haven't misremembered anything. Uh, I know I've been busy, but you've also been busy. So I don't exactly know where this like weird hostility is, is coming from. Well, I hate to tell you, uh, just completely not caring about the situation, uh, is just, is, is ambivalence the word for that? It might be, um, that towards the situation is just as bad as active anger and frustration, I think. Okay, but like I, I don't understand what what I did to deserve this type of treatment for you. And frankly, I don't think that I do deserve this type of treatment uh, to you, f from you. Because like I'm I'm working my butt off every single day to like get to the point that I want to get at for us. I want to be able uh, for to like help us buy our, or at least put a down payment on our first house. I want to do all these things. And it's just kind of weird that you are so standoffish right now when you've never been that way before. And I'm trying to like actively communicate my emotions to you in a healthy way. And you are shutting them down with like one or two word answers. And that is really like not cool at all. And it takes a lot to get me actually frustrated, but I'm definitely starting to get there, I think. But like, do you even, are you even listening to yourself? Do you even know the way that you like usually talk? You are usually not this way at all. I've never heard you say that's too bad for to me. And I'm, 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 that's, I'm kind of pissed off, to be honest with you. It's kind of pissing me off. I didn't even know I had the capacity to be pissed off, but I, I am, I think. No, it's not about, it's not about the pizza. It's about like the blatant disrespect that you're showing me right now. And it really doesn't seem like you care about the health of our relationship. And it, I, and, and most importantly, I have no idea what's going on. And that frustrates me more than anything. I'm just, I'm just, oh my gosh. I thought that this was like a really cool idea. We could hang out together and uh, enjoy each other's company, but I'm really not sure if I'm enjoying your company right now. What is that? That thing. What is that? What is that? Why? Well, like we were kind of like going, like as soon as I admittedly like intensified my tone, you, your expression changed completely. Like completely. You went from this like ice queen type persona you were putting on to I don't know. I'm trying to like dis discern what it is. It's it's almost like I know you're blushing and oh my wait 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 are you like in the mood? I don't know the like. I don't want to say the words, but are are you? Is your engine? revved up like a little bit right now oh my god yeah and yet now you're doing the thing where you try and hide the fact that you are your engine is being revved up 
you, that's exactly what you're doing right now and you're becoming even more red um but i'm like confused because we were just in the middle of what seemed to be a pretty serious argument. Uh, sure, it was over something pretty silly, but you seem to not have, want anything to do with me. And now you're looking at me with uh, the eyes that you look at me uh, with when you want to uh, lead me to a certain conclusion about things. So what's 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 going on here? Because... Because I'm 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 getting the most mixed signals that one could possibly ever get. Okay, you so you you didn't you didn't order the pizza on purpose. But I but I already know that because you told me you didn't order the pizza on purpose. All right, so if it wasn't because of the reason we said, which was you just wanted to, like, get on my nerves uh, and just be weird about it, then wh why did you not order the pizza when you knew that was, like, what we had, like, talked about and agreed on, and especially when I brought back literally uh, $100 of snacks? I can promise that I will not be mad at you, but I can't promise that I won't be disappointed uh, because I'm already a little disappointed. Actually, no, I am just disappointed. Not even a little bit, uh, but uh, I'm... You're, you seem like you're at least in a place to communicate things right now, and I'm, I'm willing to do that, obviously. Yeah, no, um, I remember the conversation. I remember you saying you wanted to, like, expand and try different things. And I agreed to it. Um, I don't exactly know what that has to do with what's going on here, but continue. Okay, so you were looking into different areas of yourself in regards to what gets your engine revved up and you discovered what, like what, where I'm still having a trouble drawing a line between what just happened in this conversation right now. Well, I'm sure it can't be more embarrassing than what just I just went through with you. So, uh, go ahead. Okay. I am trying to be there for you right now, but I literally just don't know what that means. I don't know what being a brat, like what does that entail? Oh, so you were purposefully riling me up in order to test your theory of you being like into something like that. That was what this was all about. It's not, it's not stupid. I do understand that sometimes we can get in our own heads about something to the point where y the only logical 
conclusion that we come to in our head is to approach it in like an abstract fashion that doesn't reveal the actual intention of what we're trying to assess. I don't know if that made any sense, but I, I hope you get where I'm coming from. I was, I guess I was just hoping that you and me were on a playing field where you trusted me enough to just be able to bring that up with without any heavily meditated pre whatever just happened and and i i don't know coming up with like doing doing something intentionally to get me frustrated at you just doesn't seem like healthy or something that is cool with with me and i'm so i'm just a little disappointed in that but i i'm not as upset as i was cuz i i do understand your perspective and also you have never done anything like this before can can you promise me that whenever a situation that is this uncomfortable or for you or a thought that you want to share with me but is also very uncomfortable or a way that maybe you want me to interact with you and it's weird, can you promise to at least instead of doing this you don't even have to tell me immediately, but can you promise to try to come to me and tell me that you have something that you are like un that makes you feel a little bit awkward or uncomfy and you want to talk to me about it, but maybe you're just not in the place to right now because then at least I can be aware of that. And I won't push you, but we can work towards creating an environment where you feel safe in divulging that information to me. I care about you more than anything in the entire world and your comfort comes first to me. I just literally, when we, I was getting frustrated, you, I was talking about how I want to get to a, like, I, I want to get us to help us get to a point where we can put a down payment on a house together. So, you like when I get a little angry, huh? You like, you like defying the rules. Or not, I guess not rules, but you like you like going against the grain. <laughs> I I felt a multitude of things in that moment, uh, and maybe I felt heated, but I did not feel hot. But I guess thank you for that compliment i guess <sighs> well now that we've talked about it and now that i know how revved up your engine gets from that maybe if you are a good girl for the rest of the night the evening may end in a different way than you expect. And I will just leave it at that. But for now, we're going to order the pizza that should have been ordered. And also, we're getting more pizza. Yeah. Three pizzas. Three large pizzas. Yes. Because I am very very hungry and frankly uh that third pizza may be for 
filling us up after some extracurricular activities. Anyways, you want to go ahead and uh, start placing that order and I will get all the snacks out and ready to be snacked on. Well, I mean, you are, were actively teasing me, and now I think it's only fair that I actively tease you. So, I mean, hey. So, what did you choose for the movies tonight? Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God, yes. I've not watched The Princess Diaries in such a long time. Oh my God, it's so good. The M&M pizza. I've always, I've always wanted to do something like that for someone that I'm interested in. And no, uh, you can't remember that for the future. Thank you very much. I'm going to need you to erase that from your memory just in case I... Oh my God. And then the, the second one, the mattress thing, when they go down... The... <sighs> <laughs> what I love them. I love them a lot. I, I I went to them with my mom and my grandma when I was super young, and they were like my favorite movies of all time, which definitely kind of explains how I ended up the way that I did.